I order the bayonet charge. Uh, the attack columns are good because if you order bayonet charges, you can have twice the number of battalions in the same area that one battalion is standing in line. So I just ordered this by this battalion to bayonet charge. You can see them starting to gain some cohesion. Oh no, they're still losing charging effects. Even taking their place. Ah, now there they go. There they go. That's starting to gain cohesion. And there they go. Yeah. And as soon as I had this, wow, they were hurt more than I thought. As soon as I had this artillery battery, battery controlled. Uh, meanwhile, my cannons also wrecked some havoc. It's not just for you, Connit. As soon as my infantry battalions were in position, they started firing against these German fusiliers. I was paying attention to other parts of the battlefield. Yeah, I was repositioning my troops here, trying to advance a bit more. Then these guys just continued to fire, fi fight against these guys, and I ordered these ones to go here to try and encircle them. Uh, we missed my the breaking of my dragoons. It was actually quite a silly thing because I must have accidentally clicked on the German fusiliers because I wanted to encircle them. And well, I couldn't. Anyway, these guys were broken, and now my battalions were running into position to bayonet charge down the hill on his flank. And these guys were pouring some interesting fire. Yep. They were getting very tired of my firing. But it was worth it. At this point, a sentry effectively ceased to be. I effectively managed to break through his center, which is nice. He's trying to regroup, but he just doesn't have. His battalions can pass through the Arab influence of my battalion without major losses and breaking. So I'm actually being able to divide his forces in two and secure the, the summit of the hill and bring my artillery forward. Now I'll send my Gracias to take care of the German fusiliers with some with my grenadiers in support. And this unit is just advancing to here to pour some close range fire. And there go my Gracias. Probably suffered, not, not, you know, still haven't got some friendly fire casualties, which is good. Didn't think I had, but I was a bit, you know, you see my artillery firing ineffectively. Anyway. Hmm. Oh, this cavalry is broken. Yeah, sorry. Ah, I always get the feeling that I miss all the action. He tried to charge my National Guard battalion here, my flying infantry battalion, and still my attack um, failed. Now he's trying to pull his troops back, so I order a general advance, and my attack columns uh, are just going. Yeah, he broke this squadron of cavalry, but yeah, these were shattered completely. And but you know, I just ordered a general charge with my grenadiers and my cavalry, which was then quite enough to break them. Should have ordered grenadiers sooner. And there they go, chatted, with no hope whatsoever. And my flanking infantry is just coming here to get at them. There I go. And I ordered the cavalry, I think, just to keep on moving forward and engage this battalion here. While this one was getting into its flank. Nice. 
Now this battalion, this isolated battalion, is well isolated. But the loss of cohesion from walking just makes your units all very tired of shattered. I'll see the number of troops that are charging these guys. Yeah, these Gracias were a very successful unit, one might say that. I think they eventually rock, but they come back though. And my National Guard, which is with very cohesion because it just charged, just keeps on charging. Yeah, these were my Gracias, right? Yeah, right. Anyway, these guys still haven't given up, they're still firing. My infantry just moving slowly forward while they're exhausting themselves. Sorry, that means just sensor to feel it. Anyway, they are getting fired at. <laughs> and they are going. Basic. And the bayonet charge was ordered. Uh, here I go for Konitsi himself, his general, and manage to successfully capture him. Which means, by rules of engagement, that he can never play this, his mod again. No, I'm kidding. I was just captured and tortured to give information on how to get to Vienna. He was forced basically to see Adam Sandler's movies. Time and time again. And Rothschilder, you know, just reruns, permanent, with things on his eyes to keep his eyes open. Dreadful. You don't want to see a man after that. There he goes. And this was basically all their infantry was routed, and I just ordered to charge, like, you know, kill them all. Break this. And there you go. Battle won. I won the day. Hooray! These Gracias are going away, but they will. Yeah, there they go. They just returned. And I completely broke Hornets' troops. And this was pretty much the battle. Hornets still had some troops missing. They were here. I didn't realize that because it was very confusing at the time to see if, I, if he had all his army here or... So basically the Thatcher Brigade and told them to come a long way around to try and flank me. Only it just, it just took too much time, he was banking on that he could hold me. And he probably could have hold, held me if he didn't also separated his cavalry and lost it all in the beginning. Because if he had any cavalry left I would have to be a lot more cautious. This way I could be a lot more aggressive and just charge them. And, well, my superiority in numbers just dictated the battle by itself. And I think that using attack columns, which he didn't use, are very good tactics because you can concentrate a lot of firepower, not firepower, fighting power. And you can have a, superior, a local superiority in numbers. But, well, thank God for that because if he had managed to stall me enough for his brigade to appear, because I was clueless that he had a brigade coming to support me. So, if he had just... If he had attacked me in time, it would have been very bad for me. If he had managed to succeed in his flanking maneuver, in his daring flanking maneuver, well, his second daring flanking maneuver, well, well, he gave me quite a fright. Casualties were around 474 Conets out of 16 or 1700 guys, I don't recall. And uh, 240 for me out of 1600 guys. So, yeah, I almost had a thousand casualties out of 600. Ah, there it goes. 282 and 418. Yeah. Let's see unit statistics. Oh, I didn't know it. You could do this. Oh, great. It's very much. These are the Gracias that charge and kill all those guys. Yeah. So, well, 